Hey, and welcome back. Pretty much every year, I make the trip to the Chicago Drum Show, and in addition to the great selection of vintage equipment, there tends to be a lot of smaller boutique drum companies showcasing their products. I tend to enjoy this more than the vintage gear, because oftentimes these are companies I follow on social media, but don't have the ability to try these products in person due to a lack of drum shops in my area and distribution for these companies being quite limited. In addition, a lot of these companies are very small operations with just one to two people, so I get the chance to interact with the owner and developer behind these products. So when I saw that Bovid Percussion was going to be at this year's show, I was really excited to finally see some of their offerings up close and in person. Bovid Percussion specializes in creating handmade traditional drum heads from calf, goat, camel, and steer hides. As a musician playing more sensitive styles like jazz, I've always been intrigued by trying drum heads made of these sorts of materials, as it's the sound on many iconic recordings, and from what I understand, the feel and expressive response of hide heads is a much different experience than today's drum heads. Of course, due to its volatility to adapt with weather and its durability concerns, plastic drum heads have become the standard since the late 1950s. And for those not aware, this is why when you see plastic drum heads, they're often branded with terms like Weather King or Weather Master, as the material doesn't react to shifts in temperature in the same way as animal hides. For most major drum head manufacturers out there today, it'd be hard for them to offer authentic hide heads because one, the material is much more expensive to source, and two, each head requires more skill and labor to produce, so it's really not worth their time. But since these heads are still desired by many for drum set, concert percussion, and world percussion instruments, there are still a number of independent craftsmen making these heads in the traditional way. Like I mentioned before, I've followed Bovid Percussion on social media for a number of years, and have always been impressed by the amount of notable drummers I've seen using their products. I was eager to try these heads for myself at the drum show, and after talking with the owner, Ryan, I felt more than comfortable making the investment in a few heads for myself. I ended up coming home with a 14-inch medium-thin goat hide head, and then a 20-inch medium-thin bass drum head with the fur still intact. In order to get a comparison of the sound, I decided to try three different heads for both the snare and bass drum to give you a sense of the variance between modern plastic heads and the traditional hide heads. I'll be using my 1950s Gretsch single tension snare, and I'll be comparing the Bovid head with an Aquarian American Vintage, as well as a Remo Fiberskin Diplomat. I chose these heads because each has a reputation for being a modern substitute for hide heads and are well suited for lighter playing and styles. For the bass drum, I'll be using my 1980s Gretsch 20x14. I'll be using this Bovid head on the resonant side and comparing it with a Remo Fiberskin head with a porthole and a Remo coated ambassador with no port. I won't be using any sort of tuning device to get consistent tension between all the heads for the different examples, because I typically like to tune heads where I think they sound and feel good, and I don't know if it's fair to judge the different materials against one another, but force them to have the same tension. So I'm sorry if that lack of technical consistency is frustrating to anybody watching, but it's what makes the most sense to me, considering the variance in the materials we're working with. I have a Shure KSM32 as a mono overhead, a few feet above the snare, and then an SE Electronics V-Kick on the bass drum, both with minimal EQ, to try and provide an honest assessment of the heads. There's a wide variety of playing examples for each of these heads, so I'll make sure to add timestamps into this video, in case you feel like skipping around or want to hear a specific demo again.
So after getting a chance to play on these goat hide heads and compare them to some other more typical options, I feel strongly that there is a noticeable difference. For me, the most dramatic difference for the snare head was the feel, most notably when playing with brushes. The modern coated heads have a sandpaper-like texture to help brushes create enough volume to be heard, and although it's something I'm totally comfortable with and used to, I feel like the hide heads have less resistance to the brushes and were much smoother to play. As far as the sound goes, I really liked all three heads on this snare, and I can't say the hide head was better than any other, just different. And for me, I want this drum to have that drier, more throaty sound without the crisp high end and clarity of most modern heads, so the hide head works really well for what I'm looking for. When it came to the bass drum head, I felt the change was slightly less noticeable, but I think that's mostly in part to using a batter head that has a lot of character itself, and using a microphone on the bass drum, which doesn't have the same range of dynamics and contrast as the overhead microphone. With that said, I still did notice subtle differences in the resonant sound, mostly with the hide head having a much more round and warm tone, with less attack and punch to it. I'd be lying if I said the look of the fur hide wasn't a major factor in my purchase and desire to use this head, but the sound for lighter Indian singer-songwriter gigs, or jazz music, is really pleasant and fitting. Both of these heads are something I think I'll call on often in recording in my home studio, but I'd definitely be cautious with using either of these heads out on gigs, just because of the sensitivity to weather and my climate in Wisconsin being dramatic in any given season. Obviously, the price of these are going to be a factor for many, and honestly, it held me back from investing in them until I finally had a chance to try them in person. Now, if I were playing louder, more aggressive styles like metal, I don't think the sensitivity or durability of hide heads would really complement my sound, but as a musician who lives in much more nuanced and gentle styles, these heads really enhance my sound. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these traditional hide heads, so leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date on future video releases. And until next time, thanks.